Okay, in this video we're going to look at another one of Photoshop's uh, selection tools. We're going to be looking at the Quick Selection tool. So you often find that nested with the Magic Wand tool. So if I right mouse click here, I can pick up the Quick Selection tool. Just going to double click anywhere in the grey to open up a couple of pictures. So I want this one here, the beach. Hold down the control key, it allows me to select two different images. And I'm just going to open them both up. So I've got the beach and the Ferrari. Now my objective here is to get this Ferrari and just the car onto the beach background here and I'm going to use the quick selection brush tool to do that. Now I can't use the magic wand tool because there's not just one solid colour, uniform colour all the way through the background here. There's lots of different shades of grey going on so that tool's not going to work so I need a more complex tool to allow me to do the selection and the quick selection tool is a really good tool. It works as a brush so as I bring my mouse onto the screen, I'm not clicking here, I'm just moving my mouse onto the screen, you'll see you get this circle. Now if you use the square bracket keys on your keyboard, so if you find the letter P you'll find that you've got square bracket keys to the right of that. Uh, the one furthest away from the letter P makes the brush bigger and the one next to the P makes the brush smaller. So you can control the size of the brush that you're using here using the square bracket keys. Now the way that this works is that you just click and drag over the area that you want to select and it's an intelligent brush. So what it does is it realises that you're picking up this red shade and it will jump ahead and pick up blocks of red for me. So if I just click here, look, see the way it jumped ahead, I only clicked around here but it already jumped ahead and said yep, yeah, yep, yeah, I know what you want to do, I know you want to pick up all of this red. Now the key thing is to keep the edge of the circle of the brush inside the car, don't go outside. So at the moment it's not picked up the headlight because you can see the marching ants come around on the inside of the headlight. And the reason it hasn't picked up the headlight is because it thought I only wanted to pick up shades of red. It didn't realise that I wanted to pick up these other shades of colour. It doesn't identify them as being part of the car. But as soon as you go over them it starts to think, oh okay, so you want those shades of colour as well. So you just brush around the car like this until you pick up all the areas of your uh, object that you want to select. Now if your brush goes outside of that then what happens, my brush just came outside the edge of the car there and so the program thought that I wanted to select the background as well. So now the marching ants go jump all the way around the edge and this background area becomes part of my selection. Well that's not what I wanted so I now have to subtract that from the selection, I have to say this is not what I wanted to be selected. Now up here with your options you've got here to add to your selection or you've got subtract from your selection. So the minus means taking away areas from the selection. You can alternatively use the alt key on your keyboard which changes your brush to a minus and then when you paint over you are painting those marching ants so that they come back down onto the edge of the car. So you're now just putting the marching ants around the car. You let go of the alt key and it switches back to the plus. So let me go around, I'm just going to keep going on, so if you do make an error and your marching ants end up going outside of the object you want, then just hold down the alt key and switch to the minus. Now I need to brush all over these wheels, because there's lots of different shades of colours, there's blacks, there's silvers, there's yellows, it's not going to pick it all up unless I paint all over. So I'm just coming around here, and just pick up some of these smaller areas around here, there we go. So from this point of view I think that's pretty much okay, I'm just going to deliberately make a mistake again, I'm going to move my mouse so it comes over the edge of the car, look, the brush has come over the edge of the car, it's gone into this black shadow area so it's picked that up and thinks that's part of the selection. Again, hold down the Alt key, switch it to a minus and then brush around. Now if you want to be more accurate and do more sort of detailed work, then you could always use the square bracket keys to make your brush smaller and then you can come in and be a little bit more accurate and do a little bit more sort of detail on your work. Now you can spend ages and ages trying to go around all the different parts of the car and just being so like I'm trying to do here and just get it just about right. You can do that but you can also use Photoshop to help you as well. So. I've now got my car selected, in other words I've got marching ants that go just around the outside of the car, there's no marching ants on the inside so I've selected everything, there's no marching ants around here on the outside, it's just around the edge of the car. The key thing to remember now is to switch tools and pick up the move tool because I now want to move the selected object onto this other image. So I want to get the move tool and drag and drop it across, you'll see my car comes across but actually look at how bad that selection is. Look at how jagged these edges are, it looks absolutely terrible. Now that means that I need to go back to this and refine my selection. 
So what I'm going to do is I'm going to undo that drag and drop. So I'm going to hold down Control, Alt, and keep pressing Z until the card disappears off that image. Come back here, and I'll need to pick up my selection tool again, which in this case is the quick selection tool. Now you could come back in here and say I need to be much more accurate and I need to go around really carefully, perhaps zoom in to get every little area around here. But I'm not going to bother. I'm going to let Photoshop help me out with this. So I'm going to switch up here to where it says Refine Edge and you'll find this option whenever you've got a selection tool selected. So get your marching ants. You don't need to be 100% accurate like I wasn't, but go to Refine Edge. And what I'm going to do here is I'm going to make this a little bit easier. So it's, it's currently viewing it on white. I could view it on black, and in fact I'm going to stick with the white because I quite like that. Now the options here is to increase the smoothness. Look at how horrible this selection is, all jagged and jumpy. Watch this, when we increase the smoothness, it's going to go all the way up to the 80s, look at the way that it smooths out those jagged edges for me, so I can increase that. Looks a little bit soft on the edges, a little bit feathery, maybe you want that in your selection, but if I increase the contrast just a little bit, it hardens up those edges. Now look at how super smooth that selection is. So by using Refine Edge, you can iron out any of these kind of jagged areas that you find when you make a selection. I'm going to click OK. I'm just going to refine a little bit of my selection I'm not happy about and that's this little grey edge that I appear to have picked up here and perhaps here as well. And what we'll do is we'll go back to the plus and just pick a little bit of that mirror up. Okay, so I'm pretty now happy with that. I've done my refine edge as well. So it's looking nice and smooth around the outside. So I can now get my move tool and then drag and drop my car across onto here. It's going to need to be resized, so we know Control T is for resizing, and I'll go for another video for you to do that. And then you can see my car now placed on this other image. So the quick selection brush is a really neat tool for making quite complex selections, but the key thing is remember to use that refine edge to iron out any of the little glitches that you have on the edges of your selection.